Oh, here's my dad talking into the microphone. My father was a recording engineer, had recording studios. You know, after listening to this, I wasn't sure he could record anything. So we used to go to my dad's recording studio once a year. That was the big trip. We'd get to go into the city with my mom. Stuff. And visit daddy at work? No, he would take us in on a Saturday, oh. so we wouldn't have to, you know, we wouldn't be seen. I see. I don't know that he so was particularly... you studios all to yourself. Yeah, and he wasn't particularly proud of his family. Oh. <laughs> No, he wouldn't do that during the week. You know, it's a place of business during the week. So once a year, we got to go in the studio. And during our last group of commercials, Robin was referring to this. Testing, testing. One, two. Now, we are now testing this out for proper modulation. <laughs> As you will know, when you record, the proper modulation that is required is for the electric eye, which is a green type of tube, will open and close as we record. Now I will play this back to hear the quality whether, and whether this is operating. Thank you. What an impressive guy, huh? Was your father ever a young man? I don't know. <laughs> he uh -huh. sounds the same I know. as he does today. It's amazing to me because he's always been bald as long as I know him. <laughs> and he's always looked the same. Uh -huh. see, like, you know, people say, oh, I see my parents aging. It's very safe. I don't see my father aging. <laughs> it's just like he looks like he did when he was in his 30s. <laughs> Maybe he's a robot. <laughs> you better check. I think he is a robot. He sounds like a robot, doesn't he? <laughs> he even sounds like he has an accent there of some yeah. kind, doesn't it? Like he's from like a... he's not from this country. Yeah, I know, but that's you his... swear he is. That's his microphone technique. <laughs> Fun guy, my dad. A <laughs> well, lot of laughs. Yeah, it must have been hell growing up in that house. Oh, I, you know, I talk to my wife about it all the time. My father, my father's not a loose kind of guy. <laughs> I mean, the way he's talking into that microphone is the way he talks in real life. And he would quiz us and constantly. And this was Saturday. Come in yeah. and have fun with the kids. This is dad. In, you know, my dad would wear a suit on Saturday. <laughs> He's like Nixon. Oh. I'm not kidding. Well, he had special work pants when he worked in the yard. Uh. It's like the stepfather. <laughs> But he's never looked young. He never behaved in a young... You know, he, I've never seen him get wild. Yeah. Never. Well, he is wild. He's <laughs> a wild side. Yeah? Oh, I told you about that time I walked. Remember when we did that prom? Oh, I don't know if I want to hear this. <laughs> what did he do to you? I walked into the house and I had that cock, that evening what? gown on. What did you have? No, I had that evening gown what? on. I was going to cocktail what? dress. Oh, cocktail dress. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. But yeah. Anyway, I had that evening gown on. Yeah. And it, it, you know, it was just of like a bustier top. And right. And I was... I was Your this was before I had my operation. Right. So I was really coming out the top. Right. And I walked in. Your father dropped a dollar bill on the floor and said, Hey, Robin. <laughs> really? <laughs> Did his head turn colors? When my old man gets so like if he drinks or he gets like upset, his head turns colors. <laughs> it becomes purple on top. I couldn't believe he was doing that. He's like, Robin, Robin, I dropped a dollar. Really? <laughs> <laughs> man, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Did his head turn colors? Yeah, he got real red. Because my old man's got litmus head. <laughs> yeah, I wish he's like a litmus test. I said, Mike, I, you know, immediately I knew you were a chip off the old block. <laughs> yeah. Testing, testing. One, two. <laughs> now, we are now testing this out for proper modulation. Look how proud he is of the information he has. <laughs> and that's my father. You know, my father has a lot of information. Yes. My father will sit me down. And lecture me about, you know, he reads the New York Times back to front every day, reads several newspapers, very worldly, you know, guy. It hasn't done him any good. <laughs> I mean, he knows a lot of stuff and everything, but... They can't use it. Yeah. <laughs> the only you one he can... you're supposed to be able to use the New York Times and take over the world. Yeah, he can't talk to my mother about any of this stuff because my mother doesn't care. My mother, my mother never reads a newspaper, uh -huh. has no idea what's going on in the world, <laughs> thinks it's useless information. But well, they're just alike. And uh, so he gets a hold of me, since I'm the only one willing to listen. <laughs> he was over last night. I forget what he was lecturing me on. Oh, I know what it was. He was complimenting me on my Ed McMahon comments. Ah. That Ed McMahon drives me nuts. <laughs> you know, can I, can I digress here first? All right, let me finish my father here. Let me, I just got to hear this one more time. It's just, it helps me get through the show. <laughs> As you will know... When you record, so proud. the proper modulation that is required is for the electric eye, which is a green type of tube, will open and close as we record. Now I will play this back to hear the quality, 
whether, and whether this is operating. Thank you. <laughs> my father always knew, like, if he was recording into a mic, he knew why the microphone worked. Yeah. You know, didn't do him an ounce of good. <laughs> His partners all were musical and stuff and, and did millions of dollars worth of recording studio sessions. They even sang on jingles. They didn't know how the microphone worked. <laughs> my father knew how the microphone worked. The electric eye. He missed the point. <laughs> Which is a type of tube. Yeah. <laughs> my dad missed the point. You don't need to know how the microphone works. That's, That's what right. I was trying to tell him all those years. I go, Dad, see this microphone? I don't even know how it works. <laughs> I talk into it every day. I have an intimate relationship with this microphone. I work with microphones all day. You, I don't even know what a tube is. If it breaks, they just bring in another one. That's right. The microphone's been invented. <laughs> what good does it know, mean to know that? And he'd get so angry with me. <laughs> he just didn't see things from my perspective. You have to know these things. You want to be a broadcaster, don't you? It's like, Dad. Dad. You don't have to know. I don't have to know how a radio works to talk into a microphone to be on the radio. Oh, is he serious? Serious guy. And you're right. He's never been a young man. No, never. It just, I mean, I, it just struck me that oh. that was recorded years ago. You were a kid. If you make a frivolous comment around my father... He will tell you how stupid you are for an hour. <laughs> anything frivolous. Anything oh. that isn't necessary. Yeah. You've ever gone to a restaurant with my father? No, that I've never done. I gotta take you to a restaurant with my father. I'm gonna that's gonna be our project. <laughs> After the vacation, when you get back, I'm gonna invite you to dinner with my I father. Just, I like, you know, the the dinners, you know, at the house where he just he just takes a seat at the table. And sits there and waits for my mother to serve him. <laughs> He's hysterical. And he'll sit there with a puss on his face, <laughs> like I'm starving, but I'm not going to say anything. Uh, he doesn't say a word. He just watches. Oh, I wish they put my <laughs> father in another room when he ate. <laughs> we used to go to the restaurant, and we had to know what we were going to order before we got to the restaurant. Even before you saw the menu. He would coach my mother, because he gets embarrassed in front of the waiter if someone doesn't know how to order and isn't quick to order. Oh, dear. He gets really, really embarrassed. In front of the waiter. I go, the waiter's a schlub, Dad. Yeah, what does he care? What do you care what the waiter thinks? There's a proper way to order. <laughs> and you got to be prepared. He, he, had, he would even not take me for weeks if I didn't order properly. I knew how to order from the time I was two. My mother can't get it right. <laughs> and my wife can't get it right. My father, my father goes nuts with my wife. <laughs> I guess it's not a very much yep. of a pleasure for him to go out with your family. Well, my father doesn't really, you know, my father will talk to women if they're really up on their current events. Like, he likes you. Yeah, He'll talk he to you. he always talks to me. He feels you're bright. But for the most part, I know my dad doesn't, he talks to his, uh, his friend Estelle Sickles because she's smart. Uh -huh. And she reads the paper. But if you're not up on current events and you're a woman, that, that's, 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 a, it. that's a crime <laughs> with my father. Then how have, have uh, your mother and father managed to get along for so long? They're so different. I don't, know if he re he, I don't even know if he respects my mother. <laughs> I wonder if he thinks she's smart. I wonder if he thinks my mother's smart. Hmm. Sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't. Yeah? Yeah. Does he ever take her advice? Yeah, reluctantly. <laughs> After much arguing. Yeah. Yeah, it's always a scene. <laughs> but I got to take you to a restaurant. Oh, uh, I would like to do that. And I want you to, you're going to do with me a favor when we go. Uh-huh. I'm going to mess You're going to botch your, order. what you're going to do is, you're going to order Change your main course. No, just order your main course first, yeah. and then your salad. Ah, My father will go nuts. <laughs> he'll he lose all respect for me. No, he'll go nuts. He'll, you'll see, he'll start turning purple, and then he'll say to the waiter, no, 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 no. Yeah, bring her a salad. Bring, he'll, he'll try to, like... <laughs> like the waiter doesn't know how to bring it. Right. <laughs> and then change your entree order. Okay. And ask... Oh, this drives drive my father crazy. Ask what a certain dish is made. How is it made? Okay. That will drive him nuts. Uh, he will... He, you know who you ought to take to dinner with your father? Who? Stuttering John. Oh, no. Yeah. My father would oh, blast off. No. My father Stuttering would take... Stuttering John is the worst orderer in the world. My father would take Stuttering John's head and put it through a wall. <laughs> he would beat him. My father goes, how? You know, you don't need any brains to order in a restaurant. And I, go, I take you to the same restaurant. This is the lecture I used to get. I take you to the same damn restaurant every weekend. You don't know the menu by now. <laughs> I know what I'm ordering. I go in there. I get chicken, potatoes. I have a salad first. I know what kind of dressing I want when the waiter comes. I'm prepared. <laughs> you look stupid. Everybody looks stupid. <laughs> stupid in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, stuttering John would make his head explode. 
How much brains do you need to order? How much? What, do you need brains to order from a... Re I said to my mother, Ray, you don't know what you want? <laughs> you go there every weekend. You don't know. We go to the same place, Vibrox in Freeport. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, it's unbelievable. Then when my wife came into the family, we all knew how to order by that time. <laughs> we were all adults. You were whipped into shape. Yeah, my mother was even whipped into shape. <laughs> my mother always gets into trouble because even to this day, she likes to order for an entree an appetizer. Mm. And that requires some explanation to the waiter. My father gets completely crazy from that. <laughs> gets flush in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to... Because he has to explain for her. Because she, she goes, if I want the um, clams, uh, not as a... You want an appetizer, ma'am? No, 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 no. I want you to bring the clams. And, my, and you see my father, he's just sitting there turning red the whole time. He's, just turning, he's turning purple. He's nuts over this. If I want the clams to be brought when everybody else is entree. Oh, so you want the appetizer as an entree? Yeah, that's right. She wants an mm. I want the appetizer as the whole meal. Oh. Just like I'd rather stay home than go yeah. to dinner with my parents. By the time I was a senior in high school, I wouldn't even go with them. <laughs> it was just too much pressure. I like the free food, but, so you know. So you usually eat with them at your home. You don't go out with them. Yeah, I very rarely go out. Although this weekend I have to go out to dinner with them because it's my dad's birthday. Ah. So okay, I... So you know what you're going to order? <laughs> yeah, we all, you know what? We had the discussion last night. They came over and discussed it. you kidding. Yeah, my father goes, we'll all get the salad. Same salad when we go there. Because we all like that. Unbelievable! The pressure. I swear I mean, to God, I'm not they exaggerating. Change the menu a little bit, and there's a new dish you might like. No, no, we never were allowed to look at the menu. <laughs> you had to know. My mother looks at the menu. Yeah. But you know me. I always wanted to please my father, so I would like know. You know, I had the same <laughs> stupid thing every time. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, does Allison? Oh, Allison's get the into worst. This? Allison's the worst orderer because she can't decide. She sits there and goes, and she gets real pressured. She'll go, Howard, help me. She whispers under her breath, Howard, help me, help me, help me. She starts hitting me with her elbow. Help me, help me, help me order. I don't know what to order. Help me. I go, Allison, we've had this discussion before we went. There's a million things on the menu. You know what? Any one of them you won't go wrong with. And you know what? We're going to have another meal in a couple of hours. You're going to wake up for breakfast, and we're going to have a dinner tomorrow. And tomorrow, yeah, I want to order the right thing, though. What if I don't like it? I don't know. Uh, my wife's like a retard. I go, listen, you know how my father is. Just order from the menu. And she starts freaking. Then she starts in. She wants to split a dinner with somebody else. Right. And yes. tries to explain to the waiter to cut it in half. Oh, my father's like out of his friggin' <laughs> mind with her. He's given up. Because I know she has trouble ordering. And he won't anytime. talk to her. And he won't talk to her for the rest of the meal. Oh, dear. He's my father's. Ver Look, I mean, you know. <laughs> that's testing. him. Testing. That's my father. One, two. Now, we are now testing this out for proper modulation. Proper As modulation. You know, when you record, the proper modulation that is required is for the electric eye, which is a green type of tube will open and close as we record now i will play this back to hear the quality whether and whether this is operating thank you okay, here's my father having fun okay here's here's, right. here's here's this is when he's having fun oh man look at the song river, that old man river he must know something he don't say nothing that old man river he just keeps rolling along. <laughs> that's, that's my dad kicking up his heels and going wild. But he all wrecked and wrecked with pain. Lift that bale. Boom. Hold that bug. Boom. You get a little drunk and you land in jail. <laughs> Gets weary. I gets weary. Ben Robeson. Yeah, just like a black man. I gets weary. Ryan, I'm tired of living. I'm tired of trying that old man river. Oh. Just keeps rolling along. My mother would go, Jesus, Ben. <laughs> I told you not to be stupid, you moron. Oh. Oh. <laughs> seven years old, my dad's talking to me like yeah. that. I tell you, my father would never tolerate seven-year-old behavior. <laughs> I don't remember my father ever being youthful. No, I, no. I guess not. What were you
were you doing when you were singing? I forget. We all. Oh, we all had to stand. He would wait till the very end of the recording session after he yelled at us for the whole day. He'd bring us down there. It was supposed to be a fun day with my dad at his recording studio. <laughs> he would yell. I mean, you know, you've heard the famous tape. He and that was yell. Like, that was like the. He would he would yell and berate us. <laughs> and then he would he would scream at my mother. He would scream at me. He would actually they would mostly scream at me because that way he wouldn't <laughs> scream at my mother that much. And my mother I would remember your mother would chime in and scream at you. Yeah, too. and she would even she go, "You're an idiot." And I go, uh, <laughs> "Why are you why are you picking on me?" And she goes, "Well, your father's right." Because it was great for my mother. I was you see when I left home, my mother went into severe depression. <laughs> because when I left home to go to college, yeah. She was it. She was alone with my father. <laughs> she became the whipping post. Yeah, she's the whipping post now. <laughs> he he corrects her, berates her, and she can hardly take it. <laughs> she only prays for the day I move back. She still th she keeps my room a shrine to me. She's <laughs> waiting for me to move back in. But uh, then he would go last. Yeah. The last thing would oh, be my dad's song. Be it. Yeah, and he would that, always do a and song. And everyone would be happy. Ben is now going to sing, and he he'd step out of the recording little glass area. And he'd set all the controls and proper modulation and sing. <laughs> and you guys would be watching in the control room while watching. No, we would all be sitting there watching and everything, and Dad would sing. And then, then it would be over time to go home. <laughs> but weren't you guys laughing? Or? Oh, no, no, you didn't <laughs> you laugh. You didn't hear anything on that no, tape. No, I didn't hear anything. We were in the studio with him. We kept quiet. But I mean, you don't laugh at my old man singing. But what was going through your mind? I mean, we. Oh, like, oh, please. <laughs> what was going? Through? Oh, I, and then I, if I would if laugh. If I had seen you snickering, he would have killed yeah, me. Yeah, oh, yeah. That would have been it. <laughs> no, my, and my father was like, if you're going to say something into the microphone, it shouldn't be frivolous. You should have a song prepared. Have a respect for the microphone. Well, you should have, you should have something prepared. Just as for him to sit there and record frivolous comments was stupid. Oh. That's when he started interviewing us, like, you know, uh, Eric Severide. Yes. Starts interviewing us. What do you think of the U.N. situation? I think we should kill all the Japs. Why, well, you stupid jerk? <laughs> I told you not to be stupid, you moron. <laughs> Amazing. I've known yeah. people who were always old, and I guess your father's one. Yeah, and my sister would sit down, and she actually practiced piano and stuff, so she would sit down at least and play. Where's the, my sister playing piano? Where is all these tapes? I don't, know I I don't know about the piano playing. My si Yeah, we got that. Fred, why don't you play commercial? I'll go look for it with you. We'll be back right after this. What is that, Fred? Found a couple of things I didn't realize I had. Yeah, you see, here's my my sister was little Miss Perfect in the recording studio. She never got yelled at by my father, never, ever. Well, he was afraid to yell at her. Yeah. Sidewalks, busy sidewalks. Look at her. Dressed in holiday style. Oh my! <laughs> Your family. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a not a talented bunch. <laughs> of Christmas. But people. See how she had a song prepared. Yeah. And I never she knew any ready. songs. She stepped right up. Yeah. Knows yeah. all the words. Me, I go to sing the Jelly Beaner song. I don't know what to sing. Jelly Beaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm like the I'm like Goofus. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm like a. I want to sing Jelly Beaner. All right, sing Jelly Beaner. Come on. My mother always has to start in. I, I was in front of the microphone. I didn't know what to do. But she's nervous, meanwhile, that my father's going to start yelling that I don't have a song she's prepared. She's trying to avoid an avalanche. So she starts singing Jelly Beaner. And, you know, and I, she forces me into it. <laughs> and who wants to sing with their mother? Jelly Bean. No, you're not singing. Jelly Bean. No, you're not. not but so irritating. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. <laughs> you know me, I don't know the words. Jelly bean, a cool jelly bean, jelly bean, and the jelly bean sloop. See, people don't change. I, tell you. I told you your personality is completely That's formed. That's it. How old were you then? I was uh, there, I'm four or five. That was it. You were yeah. done. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So condescending. <laughs> Little Miss Perfect, my sister, is like Passing a... Passing children laughing. laughing. <laughs> Mid and small laugh. 
doctor smile. <laughs> and I never my old man's going, yeah, that's a song. <laughs> I'm sick of this crap. Where's my relaxation tape? Where is it? Who you took mean that? that didn't relax you? No, look at all my tapes. <laughs> no, that didn't relax me, Robin. <laughs> that didn't relax you. <laughs> Oh, I need to relax. I tell you something. I I I I I, I get tense when I hear those tapes. <laughs> Become aware of the buttocks. Hmm. Tense them. Tense the buttocks. Inhale and hold the breath while tensing. Keep tensing when I say to release. Let the tension in your buttocks mm. and your inhalation <laughs> also be suddenly released. You can't even hold your breath this long. Release. Oh. You can't even hold your breath that long. It's totally yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, that guy's unrealistic. Yeah. I'm dead by the time he's done. <laughs> but I do feel better. He's got something, that guy. <laughs> Must be the tone of his voice. Yeah. He's very relaxing. Yep. It's my parents. Blowing that myth of the happy household. <laughs> you ready, Ellen? Go ahead. We're going to play that same song. Now, this is Ellen, of course, playing the piano, because she could, like, I took five years of lessons and didn't know how to play a note, but she, of course, could play, so my father would do a duet with her at the end of the session. Ah. Shut up! Sit down! <laughs> oh, no. There yeah, that's me. So, now, now, understand what's going on here. My sister <laughs> and my father, I'm going to recue this so you can hear that again. <laughs> It's going to take a little bit of a time, but I'm going to recue it. My sister and my father are going to play a song together. Yes. So, of course, I was always humiliated before that because I couldn't play anything on the piano. <laughs> Did they sit you down at the piano? No, 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 no. I was always left sitting there by my mother <laughs> while the two of them jammed. And they had their jam session. So you wanted to get in on it. Yeah, I guess that's what was going on. I was getting a little jealous, you know, and I wanted to get in on the jam session, but no. <laughs> Shut up, sit down. Shut up. Shut up, sit down. Hey, you hear I'm a little I'm seven years old there. That's a tape of when I'm seven. You sure? Oh, yeah. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, you retard. <laughs> get away from me. Shut up. <laughs> My old man is very serious. It's a good thing he had a job. You know, he could be out of the Oh, house. God bless. If he had ever lost that home, job. Forget about it. Oh, yeah. And that <laughs> stupid job didn't pay him. I think his big year was 25000 <laughs> That was his biggest year ever. Hello, uh, Howard. I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> um, how, how do you feel about religious services and uh, why children should attend them? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> He's not trying to program you, is he? <laughs> you, my, my old man is a very serious guy. <laughs> he just doesn't mess around, you know what I mean? Well, you know, ha had he ever met another kid? <laughs> <laughs> he's, not a, he's not a kid kind of guy. Let's say. He's not a kid kind of guy. <laughs> How's he with your children? They're, they're, he's okay. He, he's not, he, he can tolerate them for a few seconds. You know, <laughs> like, he'll listen to what they have to say for a few seconds, and then, then he likes to talk to adults. Yeah. Yeah. But say so. You learn something. <laughs> That's me being grilled. And <laughs> trying to recue this thing. Uh, Ellen, how do you feel about the new Roosevelt football team? Do you feel that it is a benefit, educational wise, or does it give the children that attend these games a feeling of belonging? I'd like now to. You see what my dad's doing? He know my father has thought this out. He will not ask a yes or no question. No. You have to have a you know essay. This is an essay. <laughs> Well, I think that the uh, Roosevelt football team is just wonderful, and I think when people she's, everything's go, wonderful they really with my get sister. thrills out of it, seeing that, seeing their own um, game game being played, and they won four games, as I recall, and I think the people are just she has um, an answer. So you notice she doesn't have like a stupid answer, right? She's but, a very serious. But even when she messes up her grammar, my dad doesn't yell at her. Right? Only me. <laughs> Only I get yelled at. I, I just thrilled with the whole idea. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, one other. Now, now, okay, now, retard, you go. Wait, <laughs> Let me get back to the. Do you feel the, the, that the United victim. States should remain in the United Nations as a member of the United Nations, Howard? Yes. 
I really do. All right. So I saw how my sister did. I figured, right. okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> the United Nations, okay. But here you we go. know, she got a football game to yeah. talk about. You got the United Nations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I'm a boy. Oh, God. My old man's very tough. <laughs> Jackie's even shaking his pants. I don't know how. I don't know how to answer that. Can you imagine what Jackie would have been like? At <laughs> oh, uh, you would, you would, Jackie would be would drink, dr- just be drinking oh, endlessly. Was, Jackie would have started smarter. drinking at six. Yeah. <laughs> I was brilliant till I was twelve. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I started drinking. I was a whiz. I was <laughs> <laughs> better then. Uh, is there any sp- special reason why you feel that they should? Well, there should be peace in all the countries, and we wouldn't have we want any war. Because we don't want the Japs anymore. <laughs> I told you not to be stupid, you moron. Uh, <laughs> Ellen, I would like to ask the same question of you. Do you feel that the United States... Oh, man. And he goes right into the... Yeah. You know, I no, love I... it how he rolls right into the next question. Well, he's on Meet the Press. You don't stop the whole proceedings. Just don't because, be uh, stupid. Just because one of your guests freaked out. Little commentary, the next right. question. Getting me under control. If I'm a moron, how can I help being stupid? It's actually a decent answer, even though you made a little joke. Right, well, it's like Jackie... like the UN's to prevent war. I mean... It... Jackie, if you ever wonder why my self-esteem is about this high. <laughs> should remain in the U.N. Yes, because I think it's very important and it has been doing a lot of good for the country. <laughs> and the world. Yes. Um, let me ask you. How to finish her answer. Uh, How many times did you pack your bags? What? How many times oh, did you oh, pack oh, your bags? Oh, 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 please. He kept a bag packed. By the time I hit 15, I was out all night, every night. My mother didn't give me a curfew. I would just sit. I would walk around the block rather than go in the house. And then, of course, I'd come walking back into the house high on uh, LSD and uh, pot and everything else. Well, the people can understand from these tapes why you had to take yeah. drugs. I was sedated. Now I have my relaxation tapes. Oh. So I'm okay. I mean, it's all right. Become aware of the buttocks. Yes. Yes, doctor. Okay. Another question. Now, Howard, I don't want any foolish answers from you. Otherwise, don't answer. <laughs> okay. If you Kennedy, can't no. not be foolish, just shut <laughs> right. your mouth. All right. Now we're going to ask another question. But if you're going to give a foolish question, you moron, you <laughs> retard, you're going to give a stupid answer. But then I'm a moron and retard. How could I help myself? I was going around the country asking the people to vote for Democrats. He wants more Democrats in the House of Representatives and the United States Senate. Do you think that the president is doing a wise thing in going around the country asking the voters to support him by electing Democrats? First, we will hear from Howard. (laughs) Oh, great. Why do I always have to go first? Who was the president? John F. Kennedy. My dad was real into Kennedy. I bet. Yeah, that was his man. Yeah. Robert F., too. I mean, he would he would go out. Uh, he was heavily into buying Camelot. He got people uh, registered, especially when Robert Kennedy ran. He got people registered to vote yeah. and uh, made sure they'd vote for Robert Kennedy. He would send them literature. He'd Xerox literature. Well, my father was such a Kennedy man. He actually wound up having dinner with the president. Wait a second, Robin. This has never come out. <laughs> <What>? Braggart. <laughs> my dad had dinner with the Kennedys. Dinner with President and Jackie. Is that right? Yeah. I had no idea. Now, how did that come about? Well, he was a union man, and he was, you know, heavily into his union, and they worked real hard to get him elected, so they wound up having a dinner with him. Of course, my dad worked real hard, never got any dinner with John (laughs) Kennedy, but he's yelling at me. Yes, I do, because if we didn't, let's say, have Democrats... There'd be presidents. <laughs> oh, I know I'm in trouble. Oh, boy, listen to you. <laughs> I know I'm. You're I'm scrambling already. Oh, I'm scrambling. <laughs> I'm scrambling for my life. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me just come back and uh, I'll I'll be done with this. I got to purge my system now. <laughs> I just want to hear you'll never walk alone when we come back from the words. And then I I got to play some of the Larry King stuff that we have. We have like a montage to play for you. Oh, remind me to talk to you about Ed McMahon. Okay. I have a lot I want to say, and I want to say something about Doc Severinsen. I want to talk about Ed McMahon and Doc Severinsen when we come back. Where were we? I don't know. What is this commercial? Jackie, is that your onion bagel I'm smelling? Yeah. Oh, boy. That gets my juices going. (laughs) What is this, Freddie? Snapple. Snapple? What do I want to say about Snapple? Snapple. Snapple. Well, that's right. (laughs) Snapple. <laughs> Freddie's mouth is full. It's his big birthday uh, celebration. What are you eating there? What are you working on right now? Nothing, actually. No, come on. There was something in your nah, mouth. No, you just swallowed. No, I did. Well, you, you went Snapple. <laughs> I went Snapple. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> He's a liar. Sit down, you moron. <laughs> so, shut up and sit down. <laughs>
You know, I'm in here working, and these guys are having a buffet. Yeah, they're, eating, they're having <laughs> breakfast, you. Howard. You're their breakfast entertainment. Let me tell you something. If you can get on my gravy train, <laughs> it's the best thing in the world. you got to get up a little early. There was actually a point in Jackie's career where he was actually resisting being on the gravy train. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Now I just enjoy the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Sits back and relaxes, has a nice cup of... What is that you're drinking there? Nice hot cup of tea, onion yeah. bagel. Onion bagel. Apple. Nice apple. Comfortable chair. Fred, how you doing over there? What are you working on? I'm waiting for you to do Snapple. And then what do you got there? What are we going to break into? Nothing. I wasn't planning on going in anything. No, what's right the next away? meal? What's oh, the, next the next item? Meal, maybe a box of raisins or something. Box of raisins? Sure. <laughs> How embarrassed he is by his box of raisins. <laughs> all right, listen, Snapple is great. I love the all-natural taste of Snapple. Fred, if I'm talking too loud, uh, just, <laughs> you know. Is this good breakfast conversation? If you don't like anything I'm saying, <laughs> let me know. I gotta get. I, you know what? I'm gonna go home with my relaxation taste for two weeks. <laughs> I'm sick of working with freaks. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's had it. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Snapple is great. It really is good. Who wouldn't love it? You know what? If you got kids at home, give them Snapple. You know, the kids want soda. Give them something that doesn't have chemicals and preservatives and coloring and all that other junk. Yeah. Please listen to me. I beg of you, try Snapple once. You'll see it in the supermarket. Try it once. Their iced tea is unbelievable. They've got like 90 different flavors of iced tea. It's all natural. It's great tasting. There's a reason every big company is imitating Snapple's iced tea. Do your family a favor, do yourself a favor, and get on the, uh, what do you call it? Snapple, Snapple wagon. The Snapple wagon. Thank you, Robin. Snapple. Actually, the woman wasn't Jackie O at the time. She walked right past my father. She was just Jackie. Hmm. That's right. Jackie K. My mother came home and said, you know, he walked <clears throat> out and left her there. And <laughs> JFK <laughs> left Jackie at the door. Yeah, well, he had to go bang all those whores. <laughs> He's something else, that JFK. I don't believe they have a good marriage. He walked out and left her there. <laughs> and that son of his, boy, he got the same genetics. He's banging like crazy. At least he's not married. I yeah, can today. you blame him? When, when, you, when your dad, I bet you when your dad was at that dinner, your JFK went over to your mom's house and was hitting on her. <laughs> Did he try to sleep with your mother? I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> you don't know, who knows? You were young at the time. <laughs> who knows? It's possible. It's right. <laughs> so anyway, just to finish up, as long as we got into this. So the big finale would be when my father and sister would get together. This is the big rush, because my sister could play piano. Yeah, she how, actually took lessons and learned something. Yeah, how she figured that out, I don't know. <laughs> I never practiced. She always practiced. Goofus and Gallant, yeah. right? Oh, all. yeah, and, you know, <laughs> Daddy's little girl is going to now play a duet. And you hear right in the beginning, I try to get in on it. <laughs> no, my father's got to ruin that, too. I'm not allowed to talk. You ready, Ellen? Go ahead. We're going to play that same song. Shut up! Sit down! <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, there's now your you mother. hear that? There's my mother. That's it. Now you got the whole story. Oh, boy. What's, I'm seven years old. What's wrong? What's with wrong with you? I talked. And my mother, instead of saying, What's wrong with you to my father, she'd say, What's wrong with you to me? <laughs> so not only have I been told to shut up and sit down, I've been totally emasculated, <laughs> but my mother goes, What's wrong with you? You were ganged up on. And if I try to answer the question, What's wrong with me? <laughs> Isn't that a great question? What's wrong with you? Like, okay, how about if I answer Let that me right think now? About this. I'm going to get real introspective right now. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Let me see. Let me check. Yeah. My parents asking me what's wrong with me. <laughs> if they don't know, like, and what was wrong with me? I was behaving like a seven-year-old? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? But that's my mother's thing. It, now, it really sounds like something's wrong with you. I am convinced I saved their marriage. Because <laughs> otherwise, my father would have been yelling at her, shut up, sit down. <laughs> but instead, and then my mother, of course, should have said, Ben, what's wrong with He's you? He's a seven-year-old. He's seven years old. He wants to say something. No. What's wrong with you to interrupt your father as he works out his number? Like this important duet. <laughs> what could be so important? Who wouldn't want, you know what? I bet you what I had to say would have been a lot more interesting. What do you think I was trying to say? I don't know. You probably wanted to be a part of this Who in knows? some way. I probably wanted to leave for college. <laughs> oh, here it is. When you <laughs> keep your... And boy, I'm sitting there quiet as a bed bug. <laughs> How could 
did you not oh, laugh? Oh, you don't laugh around my father. Oh, goodness. Don't rip your skull out. Oh, I wish I had been there. <laughs> and don't let the sun shining through. Oh, my God. Sun shining through. Now, Ellen's playing the uh, piano. Yeah. <laughs> She can't even follow this. No. <laughs> She's in a panic because if my father gets too upset, he'll start screaming at me. <laughs> the end of each day, there's a golden sun. What pipes? The stars <laughs> will be shining to This is the best part. <laughs> Wait, the windows are going to break. <laughs> Even your father lost it. Open your heart when you're My mother's in the background. You oh, hear her? I hear this. You hear her? Yeah. She's coaching him. The other, the other is soprano. <laughs> She's coaching him. Help guiding him through it. Oh, my God. Ever walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's her fault. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, I think I would have run away too. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I still get the shakes. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, I think my dad would have dinner with Kennedy. <laughs> He was no fun. Kennedy wouldn't have known how to order. No. <laughs> my in-laws don't know how to order, you know. And one time yeah. we went out to dinner with my in-laws and my dad. And, oh, boy. <laughs> he had plenty to say afterwards. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. What's with them? They don't know how to order? <laughs> you know, I used to watch TV and they had the Vietnam War on as I got older. And I said, you know, do they ever award the Purple Heart to children like me? <laughs> I mean, I've been through it. <laughs> Vietnam seems pretty easy compared to what was going on in my house. You got your wounds and scars. Yeah, right. At least you knew who the enemy was. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Some say I'm still shell shocked. Yeah, you got that post traumatic syndrome. I right? think I do. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I, I need to relax. <laughs> Mind if I just listen to a short tape? Just allow the mind to rest. Oh. Ah. Let the mind sink into a still deeper state of rest and peace. Oh. If any thoughts come <laughs> that try and pull you from the here and now, Daddy, do not get involved I'll with try them. Push them out. Watch Mommy. them come and watch them go. Oh. I do feel better after that guy talks to me. But you can't say that that's a representation of no. what life was like. No, not at all. <laughs> I wish I had the rest of it on tape. <laughs> that You don't understand. That was fun day. Oh, God. It was worse. <laughs> that was the day that Dad took us in on the weekend for the big recording studio day. That was the, the kind of loose, hip fun day. <laughs> But you used to tell me that your father would take you into town to Radio City Music Hall to see movies. Oh, yeah, that always turned out. I wish I only had a tape of that. <laughs> Come on, that With my flatulence problem. Oh, my dad, every Sunday, would, you know, take us somewhere for some entertainment. And then once in a while, we'd get to go into the city to Radio City Music Hall. Except I didn't like going into the city because I have a gas problem. <laughs> and I don't like farting in front of people. So my dad would bring me in, and I would sit in the background, you know, sit in the back seat of the car and go, I'm very uncomfortable. My mother would go, take him to a bathroom, take him to a bathroom. And, was, and my father would go, why don't you just deuce out? That's the way he used to say it. Why don't you just deuce out? i go, what, why don't you deuce out before we go on the trip? I go, it's not, I don't have to go to the bathroom, I just have gas. So my father goes, well, well give us, pass some gas in the car. <laughs> Going out in front of everyone, I'm embarrassed. So then we'd be in the theater and I'd be so uncomfortable, I couldn't sit in the seat at Radio City Music Hall. I'd be squirming and my stomach would hurt and I'd have stomach pains. My father would go, look. Do what I do. During intermission, we'll stand up on the aisle. And I pass wind over there <laughs> in the aisle. 
Oh, and then nobody God. knows who did it. It's in the aisle. I go, oh, I can't do that. They're going to know it's me. It's embarrassing. It really stinks. <laughs> and he couldn't understand why I couldn't pass one in public. Like I was like a big fag or something. He actually told you he goes out to the aisle. <laughs> that's when. Yeah, he always did. He had his oh, secret. Oh, that's hysterical. So yeah, they'll blame it on someone else. <laughs> Oh, that's too wild. Oh, that's <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, so then we'd be going home, and I'd be in such pain, I'd be double over. My mother would get scared. <laughs> so my dad had to pull over the car in the city and walk me to one of the bathrooms. Yeah. So he'd have my hand, he'd be dragging me by my hand, he'd go, oh, wait, come on, we'll go in the bathroom. We'd go in the bathroom, and then I'd stand at the urinal, and I had a little penis and everything. Even then, I just didn't like, to, I couldn't pee in front of my dad. Oh. Uh. I couldn't pee, and, I, and you have to pee to pass wind, and it was a whole ritual with me, and I just couldn't get anything <laughs> done. And then he'd get me in the car, and he'd start yelling at me. He'd go, he didn't do anything. My mother would go, did he solve the problem? And my father would go, he didn't do anything. He couldn't even pee. <laughs> and he couldn't pass wind. I'd go, oh, 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 it's so, and I'd be in such, and then finally we'd get home, and then I'd be able to urinate and pass wind all I wanted. <laughs> But I used to feel like a dog. It was like he walked a dog. You know what I mean? It was like he, that, That's exactly how it was. I had a problem, okay? Oh. It was like walking the dog right in the middle of Manhattan. <laughs> then they'd take me to Tad's Steakhouse. Uh -huh. $1.49, all, you know, big, big barbecue steak, French fries, baked potatoes. And I'd have the gas still from Radio City, and I'm eating. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a mess. I couldn't even enjoy a day out with my parents because of my gas. And you still haven't solved the problem. No, I haven't. When I drive home, you know, when I eat my potatoes and turkey with yeah. you after the show, I have such gas pains afterwards, and I have to wait for you to leave. Then you leave and ask the guys, was I blasting them out yesterday? <laughs> hey, ask Scott. Scott recorded them. I was in the studio cutting commercials. Scott, uh -oh. bring in all my farting in the studio. Oh, we got Jeez. new material. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I have a real flatulence problem. And it causes you pain. You got those farts on tape? I have them on tape. I don't have them on cart yet. Oh, you don't? No. Think you can get those carted up? Sure. I'll give you a commercial break. You got some time? Just do it real quick. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's got an important job, huh? It's recording farts. Yeah. Making sure my fart, my every fart. What do fart... you do, Daddy? What do you mean? Well, I'm sure his kid asked. Oh, 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 Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were calling me Daddy for a minute. <laughs> I thought you flipped your wig. No. Wow. <laughs> Come here, Daddy. Give you a spanking. <laughs> I'm a good girl. Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, let me take a break. And then when we come back, let me talk about Ed McMahon, and then I'll take some phone calls. All right. All right. I want to talk about Ed McMahon and Doc Severinsen. Okay. 